Hello everybody and welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Maggie and this is Maggie Budgets and Plans, the channel dedicated to my journey to pay down debt using the zero-based budget and cash envelope systems. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and do a budget check-in and cash on stuffing um, for the budget related to my um, March 15th paychecks. We'll also then um, restuff my wallet for the week. And here's Miss Nova coming in to say hi real quick. All righty, so if that's interesting to you guys, go ahead and stick around. Hello, 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 everybody. I hope you are all doing well and having a fantastic week. Um, yes, it is, uh, oh crap, what is it? It's Wednesday. I don't know what the date is. I could tell you if I looked at my watch. It's Wednesday, March 27th. Um, it'll probably still take me days to get this out because that's the way my life is right now, but that's all right. Um, I just, yeah, it's been very busy, but everything is going really well. I, um, quick little life update. I get the keys to the room that I'm renting for my own space on Friday, and then I see my first client there next week, Tuesday morning, 9 a.m. So yeah, it's a very, very busy time right now, but it's going really well, and I'm very excited. I'm like very close to being independent, and while it's terrifying, I'm also like, it's so close, I'm excited now. So yeah, it's kind of a good place to be in. Anyways, for today's video, let's go ahead and jump into the planner and take a look at the um, budget check-in status and the cash and stuffing that needs to happen. Um, although actually before I did that, I did want to show you my mom, lovely human that she is, got me this set of new fine tip pens. They feel like um, Le Pen dupes, which I love Le Pens. Um, I don't think I have any over here because I mostly use them in my like um, journal and stuff like that but yes I'm really excited she got me these and they're writing really well so far except that I have run into an issue where a couple of them don't work at all so I don't know where she got them probably on Amazon you guys can go ahead and take a look at the brand if you want the colors are very nice and vibrant and they write beautifully the ones that do work work really well so yeah I just wanted to show you so I'm gonna be using a new pen today let me set this aside as if I needed more pens but she was thinking of me and wanted to get me something. And I'm like always up for a cute little kind of just a just because gift. That's just such a lovely thing. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and look at this monthly calendar. A lot of these have come out and I just haven't marked them off yet. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. That's come out, that's come out. All of these, my electric bills come out. My Comcast has come out, I don't think the rental insurance has yet that one I think we're still waiting on alrighty anyways and then this one's going away entirely perfect so let's go ahead and look over so here we go so this was our last budgets we have oh not that one this one yes so here is the March 15th budget from my income from the salon and then here's the cash envelope breakdown and then here's the budget from the law firm. As you can see, I've already gone through and added in the things that have come out of my bank account. Um, and I need to make sure to adjust the cost of this Comcast bill on my um, master bill list because I always work off of that when I write in these amounts. And that went up. It was not no longer $73, now it's $75.14. Alrighty, and then here we have the um, budget worksheet. So let's go ahead and look over the debit card purchases. So we've got quite a few. We have a purchase at Etsy for $50, Chipotle for $15, Whole Foods for $22, Amazon for $1. I did get a call from a collection agency about a medical bill I did not know about. So that was a fun payment to find out about. So that was a $25 payment that I put on that. The bill is like $200 and something, and um, they agreed to $25 dollars a month as a payment plan so that um got that 25 dollar first payment got paid um this 175 dollars was a payment to a friend of mine who bought some um, supplies for my business for me because she has access to some stuff that i don't based upon her um, registrations and licensing with some different companies so she bought some supplies for me so that's 175 dollars i sent her via apple cash for that um my car register not my car my um license renewal for my driver's license for 18 
PayPal for 12, Sprouts for 20, um, Maximum Fun, which is a podcast network that I love. They're having a fundraising drive right now, so I went ahead and gave them $6. Target for $4, and then Starbucks for $15, which brings the total to $363 that we, I need to unstuff this week. Let's go ahead and break that down by category. So gift slash spending. All right, gift is gonna be 50. Food is 15 plus 22 plus 20 plus four plus 15 equals 76. Um, book is a dollar. Debt is 25. Biz is 175. Car is 18. Spending is 12. And then with, let's just work this one into that too. So um, 12 plus six is 18. Okay. So let's get into the binders and figure out if I have all of the bills I need to, to be able to do this. So let's go ahead and start with debt because that's the only one that's gonna be in the high priority binder. And car, car is in here too. And I already had pulled out $20 out of here for gas for my car. Let's go ahead and pull out a 20 and then we'll see if we can get some change back into here later. Um, debt is 25, which I think I have. I do, I have 25 exactly. So that's the debt payment. That leaves us with $11 in debt. And car now has 50, 70, 90, 110, 112, 113, $113 in car. Alrighties. So that is there. Oh, and these are out of order a little bit. I did not realize. Let's get them back in order. Perfect. Okay. So this 25 is good. We're still going to see if we can find $2 and change to put back to car, but we'll see how that goes. Alrighty. And now in the low priority finder, I wanna to go to gifts first, cause I also know I don't have enough in there. I don't think, I think I only had $40 in here. I did, so there's 40, so I need to come up with another $10 to cover that um, Etsy purchase. That was my brother's birthday gift. Um, how much do I have in spending? I think I have 40 in spending. Let's see, I do have 40 in spending, okay. So 40 in spending, so 20 of this I need to put for this spending, and then I need $10 to go towards that. Um, let's see, I'm gonna be jumping around a lot, you guys. It might be a little confusing and I'm sorry about that, but I'm trying to figure out where I can make change as we go. Um, nope, not there. All right, let's grab. Um, yeah, let's grab this binder really quickly and see if we can get change for a 20. I feel like I've condensed this not too long ago, but let's see. Oh no, I got plenty of change in here. Perfect. Okay, so 20 here and then two tens back. And then let's do this. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and another ten. And we're gonna take another one of these twenties and put it back here so that that way I end up with some more bills to make change with. Perfect. So let's put this back and roll the dice is nice that envelope's now quite a bit thinner. 
perfect. So let's put a 10 back in spending, a 10 there. Okay, and let's see where we are at right now in terms of money. All right, so come back here. All right, so I've done this one. I've done this one. I've done this one and this one. Technically, I owe car and spending each $2. So let's see. Um, 20, 40, 60, 80, uh, 90, 100. Wow, my brain just totally went blank there. So 100, 5, 10, um, 6, 7, sorry, that was 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So let's go ahead and, because mm, I'm going to need smaller bills again for like down here. Or, what I can do, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I think I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna just let car and spending be short, the $2. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and go to food where I need 75 to be pulled out of food. And food has 20, 40, 60, 81. So what we're gonna do is we've got 80, I need, sorry, I need 76 out of that. But we're gonna go ahead and make it be 75. And so I'm giving $5 change back to the food category. And then I need $1 from book, but which we have extra, so that's okay. I don't need to do that. And then we need the business money. So this one is good, this one is good. So I just need $175 from the business. And I just had to pay with my personal debit card through Apple Cash because I just didn't have everything set up with the business account on Apple yet and I wanted to get my friend money as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and get rid of the old 100. So 150. Let's go ahead and actually see where we are at. I need to get to $363. So we have 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 310, 320, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Okay. So that's $340. So I do need to put more already. So I said 340. So there is 360. Do I have 363? All right. We'll do that. And then, so that leaves me short $1. So I know. So now in work, in cash and work, I've got 100, 200, 300, 320, 30, 40. $340 in cash for the business. Um, that does not include what is in the bank. Let's go ahead and find one more dollar. We're gonna go back to the high priority because I know there was some singles in the debt. So we're gonna just pull that extra single from debt. Perfect. Alrighty. So let's just double check this one more time. So 100, 150. So then we've got here, let me do this. 150 plus 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80. So 180, 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Perfect. $363 is all good to go. Back to the bank. There we 
Here we go. Alrighty. Now let's go ahead and stuff my wallet for the week. Let's actually unstuff it first. Yeah, these little built-in tab envelopes are definitely too high. They keep getting caught in the zipper and end up looking all rough and not fun. So as you can see here, let me empty this out as we go. So I have got $2 left in food and all of this change, which I'm just gonna put in my little jar and I will take care of off camera this week. I don't wanna, I gotta get to work so you don't have a ton of time to do this video. So then we have got nothing left in gas, nothing left in Nova, just some change left in spending. nothing left in bank and then $20 left in income. And I have been spending out of that category. Um, let's put this cash for the bank in here. There we go. That's to go back to the bank. We've got $22 there, which I think I am just going to roll over into my wallet this week. Um, let's, <clears throat> excuse me, let me go ahead and grab what we've got. So I don't need gas. Mm, I might need gas. Do I have a $10? Oh, that all just went tumbling down. I don't think I have a $10 bill though in, okay. So I wanted to check and see if I had a 10. <clears throat> in, excuse me. I wanted to check and see if I had a 10 in car so that I could put just $10 into the gas envelope in my wallet. I'd already put $20 worth of gas in my car um, that should probably last me till Sunday. If need be, I'll, I'll use, you know, food or spending money on it. All right, so let's go ahead and head over to, speaking of food, let's take whatever's left, which is $25. It's gonna go into food. And then gas, we're not gonna put anything in. Nova does need some wet food. That's what actually finally made me do this today is I was like, I need to buy food for her today. Um, Pet supplies has a 20 in it, which is perfect. And while I'm in here, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the spending cash. Um, We'll actually leave, no, let's do this. I'll pull that 10 out and I'll put that 20 in there. Cause that, mean I'll have, that means I'll have a 10 in my wallet. Actually, let's do this. I'm gonna pull all of that out. Cause I do really wanna have a 10 in my wallet for gas. So what we're gonna do is we are just gonna take this 10 from spending and we're just gonna put it in gas. And if I don't use it, I'll just roll it over into savings challenges. But if I do use it, good. Nova is gonna get $20. Spending is gonna get $20. We'll just do, yeah, we'll do 20. And then food is gonna get this extra $2. Just cause I'm gonna need all the little cash on hand I have. It's just a very busy week as I told you guys earlier. There you go, my wallet's all set up for the week. Yes, but as I told you earlier, it is, um, you know, the final days till I start my business. And well, the business is physically, is started on paper, but I will start moving everything in and all of that. So it's a busy time and that has meant lots of eating out and convenience eating. So I want to make sure I've got an extra little bit of money for food in my wallet. So yeah, there we go, you guys. That's the end of this video. I will see you guys next time for the budget with me for my last full-time paycheck from the salon. I will have one more paycheck after this one that's coming this Friday. Um, but yeah, my last full-time paycheck from this nail salon. It's kind of amazing. We'll do that budget with me tomorrow. And yeah, I'll see you guys then. Bye.